Mastodon gained popularity since Elon Musk completed his purchase of Twitter. But what is it and how it works? Hi, in today's video we are going to have a brief overview on the open source alternative to Twitter named Mastodon. And then we will see how to deploy your own instance in a minute with Elestio. Ok, so what is Mastodon? Mastodon is an open source alternative to Twitter. If you look at alternative 2, which I highly recommend you to visit sometimes, you can see it the second choice, but Gab is another alternative which relies on Mastodon. The main difference lies on the fact that Mastodon is decentralized. What it means is that it's not run by a single company. It's also self-hosted, which means you can have your own instance or join an existing one. You can browse public servers on joinmastodon.org slash servers or you can be invited to private ones. The content on it can be private with your friends, your company or even your community. It's called local timeline while you can stay connected to the main hub in the outside world which is called federated timeline. You choose what you see from outside your community. It's free, it's open source and you have no ads. Now let's see how to set up your own Mastodon instance on Elestio. All you need to do is to go to create a new service, type Mastodon, select it. You can keep the default settings, but it depends on your needs. I won't name it and I will use my email address and create service. Okay, so now the service is being deployed and I will receive an email as soon as it's deployed. It usually takes two to three minutes. Okay, so I received a link with my Mastodon instance and now they ask me to log in. So I put in my email. If you go to the overview of your service, admin and display admin UI, you can click on show password and you have your main account which was created and you have your password. Of course, you can change it later. Okay, so now I log in. And I have an empty feed because I just started it. Let's start by setting up our profile. So I go to profile, display name, I will put Wawa Sensei, King of Bling Bling. And I will add a header, which is my header and my avatar. Okay, perfect. I won't do a lot of changes just to show you how it works. And if I go back to Mastodon, now I can not see my profile has been edited and I can write my first toot. It's not named tweet, it's a toot. Hello Mastodon. If I open the local timeline, I can see my post. Local is for my own community and people invited on this instance, while federated is the outside world, but it's empty because I didn't start to follow any other account yet. So what we can do is go to mastodon.social and follow any other account that come from the outside world of this instance. So maybe we can copy this account and in our instance we will be able to search for them and we can follow them. We will do it for many accounts like developer memes so we open it and we copy the username and you can see they don't also come from uh, the main mastodon website they are also from a sub instance let's look for it follow let's also follow main account so like mastodon and here it is and now let's see if we have anything in our federated page. It can take time to pull the content, but here we can see we have a first content. What is Mastodon? An animated video. And you can see it's in our federated timeline. Let's create another content and just put our pictures. Hello, do I look happy? And if you go to the local timeline, you can see there is my picture and the different options you will have are, are to reply to it, to boost it, to add it as your favorite and a lot of different options. When you create a content, you can create a poll, you can add a content warning and you can define the visibility of your post, which is public and listed only to your followers 
and only to the person mentioned in your post. You also have the direct messages, which is a feature you already know from Twitter, favorites, bookmarks, and you can also create some lists to organize your content. There is also a mobile application of Mastodon, and it's exactly the same than the web version. You can connect to your own instance. You just have to tap it in the search bar and it will find it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new video format. If you want to discover a great open source alternative to software you use, please subscribe to this channel. See you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.